Okay, we're out on the Columbia again, looking south. And there's a boat here that has his jib up and his mainsail up. And I think he probably has his anchor in the water. So he's just not really going anywhere. But that's kind of an example of if the wind wouldn't be strong enough, this is exactly what would be happening to you. The current would be pushing you back. And so basically you would have to start your engine. And if your engine wouldn't start, you'd be, you could get yourself into some trouble. So I think having a backup engine and an extra anchor on board um, makes me feel a lot more comfortable about being out there. It looks like he took his jib down. There's another sailboat over here. He's making a little headway against the current. He's on a running tack, which is going to, with the wind. Using his jib and his mane. It looks like he just brought his jib down. But Linda worked the jib and we went out and she got really good at that. And also reading the telltales, which are the streamers on the cell that are little wind indicators to let you know when you have the cell trimmed just right. And Ryan also worked the jib when we were out here. But I didn't come out here when I took mom out. We just stayed in the channel on the other side of the island. We got the jib cell up, but it was really windy that day, so we didn't come out to the Columbia. This boat there with her spinnaker cell. He's having to use that to get as much wind as possible to fight that current. 